Hi, my name is Bob Gudelli, and uh, I'm here today to show you the three qualities of the water that make this water so special and different from anything we've ever experienced in our life. Uh, what I've gathered here is an assortment of bottled water that many of us are drinking today. And I'm going to show you the first quality of the water with what is called a ORP pinpoint meter. And ORP means oxidation reduction potential of liquids. They're either going to show a positive ORP or a negative ORP. So let's move over to Dasani. This is a product of Coca-Cola. So many of you drink this like I used to. Uh, and as you see, it's already climbing, you know, it's above 130, so that's a positive. I'm going to move over to Aquafina, and that's a product of Pepsi Cola. Notice this one climbing above 160. I'm going to move over to Arrowhead, and that's now climbing, look, above 300. Let's move over to Alive. This is a product that I used to buy and drink called Wellness Water. Uh, it's, uh, it must be good for us because they call it Wellness Water or Vitamin Waters. Notice it's almost to 400. Here we're moving over to Fiji Water. It's at a, right around a 330. And then over to Smart Water. Notice it's still above 300. Let's move over to Soda. Notice that one's almost 400. Now I'll go to Tap Water. That's at around right 360. And now the star of the show, Kangen Water 9.5. Notice it's a negative 450. So as you see, that water jumped to negative right away. Negative, it's above a negative 470. And that's the most important quality of the water. And that's why, as I'll show you the device here in a moment, why that is manufactured as a medical device and sold as a medical device in Japan because of that quality of the water alone. So I'm going to go and show you the second quality of the water with these pH drops, means potential hydrogen. It's going to show us whether these liquids are the pH scale from 0 to 14, whether they're acidic to 7 being neutral or to being very alkaline. And I'm just going to put a couple drops in each one of these. And that was the Dasani. Here's the Aquafina, the Arrowhead. Let's go to the Alive, the Fiji Water, the Smart Water, the Soda. And there's the Tap Water. And here's Kangen Water. Now let me stir these up real quick. I'm going to stir these up real quick and then I'll show you this color chart here. Okay, here's the Dasani. Notice it is pretty acidic, right? Let's move over to the Arrowhead really quick. That's also very acidic. Let's do the, oh that's, I'm sorry, that was the Aquafina. Now I'm doing the Arrowhead. Notice that's even more acidic. Here's the Alive water that I used to drink, also very acidic. Here's the Fiji water. Notice that one's a little better, more on the neutral range. Here's the Smart Water, uh, slightly acidic. And here's the Soda, also extremely acidic. This is the Tap Water, also on the neutral range. Don't get too excited about Tap Water. Federally regulated by the government, you know, besides the chlorine, and they use lye to raise the pH of the water. Here's the star of the show. Like I said, it's certainly not me. Kangen water 9.5, very alkaline. So that's the second quality of the water. And one more interesting thing I want to show you about the alkalinity of the water is when we drink alkaline water, notice how it will change the pH of these acidic waters. I'm going to show you, I need a little more to do those. As you see there, as you see the smart water, as you see the tap water. And I need a whole container of 11.5 pH because these are so acidic that notice there's no change when I add the Kangen water to these. No change in the Alive and then the soda. So just a, an education, if you drink one cup of this, it's so acidic, you need to drink 32 cups of 9.5 Kangen water to neutralize one cup of soda. So, as you can see, it's so acidic that it will change just with a few drops 
right back to very acidic. So in relation to the body, as you can see, if you continue to drink these things, it just keeps us in an acidic state, whereas the alkaline water of 9.5 helps to neutralize the acid alkaline balance and flush the acid out of the body. Now I'm going to show you the third quality of the water, which is called microclustering of the molecules. I've taken ordinary tea bags. This is Yamamoto green tea, something that I like, and I'm going to take ordinary tap water and add it to this cup. And as you see, what do you normally have to do to make tea? You have to heat the water, right? Because this is just cold water. Now I'm going to take the Kangen water, 9.5, and add it to the same tea bag. And notice what it's doing immediately. It's making tea, as you can see there. So the molecule clusters in regular water are anywhere from 12 to 15 clusters, whereas the molecules in Kangen water are anywhere from four to six clusters so much smaller, so as you can see, the water is reaching in and drawing out the tea just with cold water. So I'm going to show you a little demonstration here. I'm going to take and make a few extra glasses of tea. Notice that, how it's making tea right away. I'm going to do another one right there. Notice how that's doing that. I'm going to take now tap water just to show you guys this isn't a magic show or anything. And I'm going to go ahead and put tap water back in that one. Notice how it didn't make tea. Then I'm going to take the Kangen water again. And now we're going to go back to making tea again, as you see. I'm just going to make a couple more for you here. And another one. I can go ahead and make about 20 cups of tea, but I'll just make about eight or nine right here as we have. So you can see, in relation to the body, absorption into the body is far superior, just like you saw absorption into the tea bag. So the water will enter the body, hydrate the body much better at the cellular level. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some other qualities of the water, because remember the machine makes five different grades of water, so I'm going to show you them now. One of the other qualities of the water I'm going to show you is, uh, I'm going to use some tomatoes here that uh, I just bought at the local healthy food store right nearby down the street. And I'm going to take, because uh, we normally clean our fruits and vegetables in ordinary tap water. I'm going to take ordinary tap water and just fill this one, put that there, and I'm going to take, uh, I made, I pre-make 11.5 pH, we call it strong Kangen water. And the reason I use a black container is because two things affect the quality of the water, and that is air and light. And I'm going to add that to the water here, and I'm going to let those sit for a couple minutes. And I'm going to show you, uh, let me take that, I'm going to move those off to the side real quick. And I'm going to show you what's happening with those tomatoes with a little demonstration right here. I'm going to just use some uh, sesame seed oil. Take a little of that. A little in there. And then I'm going to take ordinary tap water and add it to the sesame oil. As we know, basic science, oil and water don't mix, as you can see. And then I'm going to take the strong Kangen water, 11.5 pH. And as you can see with uh, water, we just emulsified oil. So it broke down the oil just with water by changing the pH to 11.5. Now you're going to understand what's going on with the tomatoes over here. As I take the tomatoes, and this is the one that was soaking in ordinary tap water. Now that's how you normally clean your fruits and vegetables. Now, this is the one that was soaking in 11.5 con strong Kangen water. Notice the difference. Now, what just came off there compared to what didn't come off there? This water, just like it broke down the oil and emulsified oil, took the oxidation, the oil-based pesticides that they used, and just took it right off the tomatoes. And now, as you can see, you're going to have tomatoes that don't have any of the pesticides and anything that might possibly be on them. Whereas normally, this is how you would normally eat your tomatoes with all the pesticides. So that's another quality of the water that we can use this water for cleaning purposes. You can pretty much get rid of all your household cleaners and just use water because now we have water that can emulsify and break down oil. Now, the, the last thing I'm going to show you about the water is, remember we said we clean our fruits and vegetables in the tap water, right? So this is just ordinary tap water I poured in there and I'm going to do a little test for chlorine. This is just a chlorine tester. 
We had about four drops in there, and as you can see, it's starting to turn yellow. So that shows us the amount of chlorine in the water. And like I said, a lot of this is going to be an education of things that we might want to change in our life. So I'm going to take, I just cut up a lemon here, and I'm going to take, and this is going to show us as we clean our fruits and vegetables in the tap water, we'll show you something that you might not want to do anymore. We'll just let those soak for a second just as you normally clean things in the tap water. And now, as you can see, it's clear again what happened to the chlorine. Did we really clean our fruits and vegetables with the tap water, or did we clean our water with the fruits and vegetables? So just a, an education as something you might not want to do anymore, and that's why we can use the 11.5 pH for cleaning our fruits and vegetables. Now I'm going to show you the star of the show, which certainly isn't me, but is the technology that comes from Japan that makes Kangen water. I'm going to show you how simple this is to hook up. It only takes a few minutes. You simply just hook this up to your faucet right here. And now what it does, it takes ordinary tap water. And just by moving this, diverting the water into the machine, we are within seconds making Kangen water 9.5. Let me shut that off. Now what the water is doing is first is passing through this double carbon antibacterial filter where it's filtering the water first. Then it's going in through here, which is called the electrolysis chamber. I'll kind of show you what that looks like and give you a quick little education. It's passing through seven platinum coated titanium plates where the water, it's negative and positively charged. So it's splitting the waters. Alkaline water is coming out here and acidic water is coming out here. And then I'm going to show you how simple it is to use the machine. I'll also give you a quick education on what they don't show you on the competition in the marketplace. They don't show you what's inside the machine. And I'll just give you a quick education on theirs compared to ours because they try to say theirs is just as good for half the price. But as you can see, smaller is not better, but larger because the more the surface area, this has 450% more surface area with the water's passing through as it's electrically charged. And the benefit of that is the, the stronger the quality of the waters and the longer those qualities will last. Now I'll just show you how simple it is to use. By simply pressing the button, within seconds we change the kind of waters we're making. Kangen water, 8.5. So as you can hear, that's making 8.5 pH. Kangen water, 9.0. 9.0. Water, 9.5. And 9.5. Now, from 8.5 to 9.5 is 10 times stronger. So what they suggest is that you start off at 8.5 for a week or two, then move up to 9.0 for a week or two, and then 9.5 probably by the end of the, by 30 days. And the reason being is this water will make you detox. It will cleanse the body. And so just to make detox more gradual, you start off at 8.5 and work your way up. Now the next water, clean water, clean water, as you can see, it says for medication. So that water we want to use in case you're taking prescription medication because you saw that how the, the molecules were microclustered, so absorption into the body is much greater, much faster, and a lot of medication is time-released. So 30 minutes before, 30 minutes after, you just want to use clean water when taking medication. Beauty water. Beauty water. That's slightly acidic, just like our skin, 5.5 pH. For those of you that buy toners, that's what toners are, to tighten and tone and soften the skin. Now, for pennies, uh, instead of spending uh, money on toners, now you can just make it right here from the machine, and you can make gallons and gallons for just pennies. The last two waters. Strong acidic water. Strong acidic water is 2.5 pH. If you can see here, it says sanitary. That's what they use in hospitals in Japan and over 30,000 restaurants because 2.5 pH water will kill 99.9% .9 of all bacteria within 30 seconds. So instead of using harsh chemicals and bleaches and things of that nature, they just use 2.5 pH water for disinfecting. Now the opposite, let me show you this here. Strong acidic water. So the 2.5 strong acidic water is coming out the secondary hose here because it's always making two waters at once. So what's coming out here 
is 11.5 pH, and that's the water I use for cleaning the tomatoes. So 2.5 for disinfecting, 11.5 for cleaning, and that's what you can use for cleaning your fruits and vegetables. Also, you can actually use that as a degreaser and throw away all your household cleaners and use that for cleaning instead of those things with harsh chemicals. So that's pretty much it, the five grades of water that we take ordinary tap water and create those five grades of water just by simply pressing these buttons. Very simple to use, and uh, that's the technology. The next step is to get back to the person who introduced you to this so you can try the water and experience a live demonstration yourself. Thank you.